okay guys so it's time again for another review and this time this was a request uh, made by one of my colleagues in terms of storage devices and this one was sponsored by him and you know if my voice kind of fluctuates a little bit it's because uh, my hearing has been affected last Saturday and uh, I'm trying to do to ward off some anxiety about it because I'm not hearing too clear maybe I sound too harsh or too high of a volume but you know I'm trying my best to cope with this but for now because um, this one was, was sponsored by him he asked me a combination that would work for the needs of the company so yeah I'm gonna ask if if he wants me to link back on the description the company that sponsored this one but he asked me to buy this and if I can make a video about it then explaining stuff so I told him I'm gonna put up a YouTube video about it so anyway before I start reviewing this stuff and, and unpacking this I would like to first show you some of the collection of drives that I've been using as redundant backup since 2009 so this one was the first backup drive that I have this one is a very re reliable one from Seagate so you see it's, it has some marks of usage on it and right now it has it contains still some of the backups that I have for my other clients before so I kind of open it up sometimes but you know just uh, have it around in case they look for their files and this one was the latest one I bought for the last company I was working for so yeah most of the content of this one from Western Digital it's a my passport ultra is uh, Photoshop files and illustrator files so this one is also a good quality drive and just to tell you I think SD or Sandis is now I think Western Digital I'm not sure but I can see that they, they are kind of one and the same and this is the last one we bought which is Seagate so I'm not sure why but this one in terms of my usage this kind of sucks a little bit because you know it, it has been having problems reading and writing it's quite slow and you know I've been experiencing a lot of problems with it lately and you know just turning off my computer there and you know still good but the worst drive that I bought is from a local supplier and this is based on an enclosure because these guys are quite costly in their time but now they're quite affordable but in their time when you want to buy a newer drive now it's kind of expensive and the best route to go is buy an enclosure like this and put in a hard drive inside so these are all hard disk drives so in my opinion hard disk drives are still the standard for making backups but for quicker backups in startup times it is advisable now to use um, SSD drives or solid state drives so this is just an enclosure so when you buy this one it includes this and you know just add a laptop drive there a hard disk drive from a laptop and then you can use this but this is also Seagate because I trust Seagate since I was in college but you know this one failed at me it won't open in Windows 10 and I can only use this at the minimum speed in Windows 7 in older windows I'm not sure this was formatted correctly I spent a lot of time reformatting this and, and working on it and still it's not a reliable drive for me so our company now is making a lot of backups because of the recent trends online and we wanted to have some sort of backup that is quite quick and you know we back up quicker then we just move it on a harder drive or a network drive so I suggested for us to buy an SSD drive which arrived two days ago the time I had my checkup so that was on Saturday and I'm not sure I, I bought this from Sandisk themselves and they are quite on sale and this is a solid state drive it's 480 gig so I usually buy drives that are smaller in capacity just to make sure I move the files and I, I am forced to do it regularly so in backup you have to do backups regularly it's not a set up and forget thing but if you have network drives you just sync it up 
and that's it okay so this is the drive that I'm gonna use again for the same kind of purpose and this one I ordered from Ugreen okay so they're, they're, they're kind of helpful in their online shop because they they find a good match for this one so when you buy this one and this one together or I mean in the same the same models that you buy it's gonna work according to them so we're gonna try it today and I'm just gonna unpack this one it arrived yesterday on a Sunday so yes you can hear I'm unpacking it and this is the packaging okay it includes this uh, marketing brochure that they have it's quite well made which includes invitation to to give them some feedback and whatnot so it's quite a good move in marketing nothing else inside the, the, con the container here except some freebies yeah I had so I have some freebie here it's a U green cable clamp I think yeah it's a cable velcro so there you go they added that in so now this is the box for the box for the enclosure it, it supports SSD USB 3.1 and the good thing is it's the max speed of 6 gigabytes per second and it would uh, carry over or I mean support SATA 3 and 2.5 inch hard drive so this old hard drive I have is gonna fit this enclosure but I'm gonna use this one the, the more modern one so let me unpa unpack this one unbox this one so I kind of hurt myself with this very sharp uh, knife <laughs> so I'm just a little careful now because I hurt my fingers there as you see anyway so there you go I'm unpacking now so in the box it's quite unprotected on both sides no foam just cardboard and then it includes mm -hmm, it includes this uh, U green enclosure instruction there so it has product details lead indicator like how it works so on and so forth how to install this and whatnot how to plug this so don't worry about anything it includes it includes in there and this is the actual enclosure so when you buy this it doesn't include the hard drive but most of the people I see there trying to get them from their site are quite confused that they're buying this enclosure and they expect something inside it or the drive inside it anyway so yeah here you go as far as details again I like matte finishes and this is matte finish with the logo of U green at the bottom the enclosure wire there is it's USB type C and the pull tab here and I was hoping that they included the USB C cord which I requested but it's not in the container but we'll see maybe it's inside so again this is how it's used just have to slide it out like so you just hold it and pull this one this tab here At the end it's a rubber tab thingy and you just hold on to the body and slide this out you know okay there you go okay so you see there the enclosure there's a safe plug here there's a safe cover that's compared to the other con other enclosure that I have it doesn't have this cover here it's exposed this one has this cover here and it's USB type C and they don't include the cable which is kind of disappointing because I ordered it I think with a cable so now I'm gonna open up this one I was surprised when I bought this one because it's quite light as compared to other SSD that I had and this is an original it's from the original store okay here you go so it includes this uh, paperwork here 
and there you go so you need to there's an instruction here at the back to remove before installing okay so this is the drive okay as you see there it's pretty light as compared to other drives that I had so let's just follow instructions and remove the sticker there you go just slide it in this one okay so it has this rubber thing here to support this and then you just insert this and align this here as you can see you just need to align it and slide it in okay there you go you slide it in it's gonna be pretty tight and there you go so yeah I'm gonna show you next you just have to cover it up and then I'm gonna show you how it's attached in this uh, computer and show you how it is being read and how quick it is okay so I'm gonna stop the video for now to show you how it works I have reviewed everything in the box and I was looking for a, a cable to support this one so I could try it so just continuing here I finally find this heavier than usual so I tried to go back to this box and pull what's inside and look at what I discovered it includes <laughs> how stupid of me here it includes the the cable itself so I was hopping around looking for the cable but it, it is actually included inside the box so I'm just gonna show you it before I proceed so it's a USB-C to USB-C cable okay so there you go it includes it it's a good quality USB-C cable and according to some of the reviews that I found in the store itself they're kind of working directly to your USB OTG capable phone okay since I found that uh, USB-C plug I can now use this drive to plug into my computer and at first you won't see it because it is not formatted and you need to go to disk management as shown here in my video it can be found on Windows 10 here on the side when you right click instead of left click you just right click and you will see disk management it's gonna open this window and it's gonna notify you of a new partition this one here that's currently formatting and all of my working hard drives okay so this one now is online this is the SanDisk SSD card it is currently being formatted by Windows and we just have to wait to finish for it to be actually used so that's the first thing you have to do on this drive so that you can use it anywhere you need to make sure you format this drive so I'm, I'm regularly formatting this in its suggested uh, format and then just go about using that instruction that it's guiding me in so Windows 10 is very helpful in guiding you just telling you to what's happening and what's happening next so now it's formatting as you can see there it's just moved at 1% okay so we're back guys and again just to remind you when clicking format here make sure that you choose to perform a quick format instead of the regular format that you use so now it's a new volume it's expat I can choose NTFS and just choose default allocations allocation unit size but right now I just won't do anything to that because it's currently formatted and it's going to show you the actual drive space in a healthy primary partition and it automatically opens this up this window up of the E location so again when I go back it's a new volume when I click properties I can change the name as you can see here and hardware ID shows a SanDisk SSD plus 480 GB CASI disk device so it's working as intended it's quite fast it took around just a second to format it <clears throat> it's a slow a bit slow at first but then when it does the formatting it's quite quick and I, I'm quite surprised because I'm used to HDD formatting although I have formatted some SSD before but this one the SanDisk one is very quick so yeah there you go and it's working and just make sure that after using this device just make sure that you you just uh, you know 
whatever you want to transfer here it's gonna be quick it's gonna be quick and easy okay guys so thanks for watching my video I hope it has helped you in your choices of choosing the right enclosure and the right kind of drive and I'm gonna add in my comment section if it works on my OTG because I want to try that as well so I think it's gonna work okay thanks for watching